Hi folks, they finally added aliens to Astroneer, just as the game launches on Nintendo Switch. Uh, so let's jump back into the PC version and go hunting for... snails? So Galastropods are the snails in question, and part of the appeal is that they're pets that you can feed and gain special abilities from. Uh, but there's a whole story behind them to investigate, and there's new early game missions to get you going. In this video we'll see how to get started with the snail stuff. Now you can actually find... Um, if you go to the hills especially, you can actually find here on silver um, regular old silver sh G silver shells. Um, so I think the G stands for Galastropods, if I know my uh, naming terminology. <laughs> Ooh. Hang on, let's get out of here. Uh, and they, they will provide us with uh, research samples early on. Uh, now I don't actually have much in the way of oxygen, so I'm actually going to run back to my base. This is not my um, uh, the, the base that we've seen on previous videos, and this is a new one because it does seem to suggest that you should start a new adventure game to actually get the full benefit of all this in the changelog and all that. So, let's have a look at... I'm press R. Um, let's look, have a look at this early mission that's unlocked after about, I don't know, playing for an hour and doing the training missions. And bait and switch. Um, samples as Sphalerite are, are needed to initiate local fauna in, in, examinations. Mission completion reward. Item. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm, not quite sure what that is. Right, so we need Sphalerite. The base isn't actually uh, that advanced yet. We haven't even got to the chemistry stage yet. I haven't been off planet. If we go down here. I haven't really gone very far into this cave, but we do have stuff down here. But we don't want that, we want Sphalerite, so we do actually need to investigate a bit further. Not in this direction, we're not. Oh, there you are. Oh, hello! We may have found some good old useful Sphalerite. Never doubted it for a second. Right, let's quickly... Boop, 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 boop! Here we go. Gathered Sphalerite. Big purple, bouldery, spiky stuff that normally nobody gives a wet toss about. Might as well get a little bit more, but, I mean, since it's so close to base, there's not, <laughs> not a huge amount of problems there. I do actually have a basic um, jump jet already, which I found somewhere, which is already making things very convenient. Right, so back to our base. Let's unlock the reward. Item, mystery item. Ooh! Ugh. Oh. So I say I don't know what any of this is going to be like. Oh my god, okay. Conos case file mystery. Conos case file mystery. Fate of the S Triton. Please deploy at a safe distance from launch pad. Cannot activate until drilled into terrain. Cannot activate until something something something. Well, I don't know what's going on here. This should be interesting. Okay, uh, let's place it away from this. Well, <laughs> away from everything to be honest. Right, let's bang this. Where's it gone? There it is. Right, I think we can do this now. Hopefully. Please deploy to safe distance. Right. Oh! Oh! Complete a strange object. Um, place and whatever I said, just have just a completion message. New mission jumper cables. Oh. There's a lot of new missions. Ceramic. A, a bonus oxygenator. Ooh, I love that. Also some copper. So this is just an old random wreck, presumably? Oh, well, what are you? Um, an abandoned facility once used to house and study biological samples. I'm suffocating, aren't I? Hang on. <laughs> Let's do this from a distance. Uh, it is still partially functional and may contain useful information. Right, so how do we get in there, then? Is this, is this a dynamite job? Oh, no, hang on. What's this? Here we go. Uh, apparently that was one of the missions. Well, let's actually have a look at... Let's just, let's just go over here whilst we have a look at this. So, strange object. Uh, we've actually got the reward to get for that. And um, free power cells. Breath of fresh air. Oh, we can collect that right here. That's fine. And so, jumper cables. Here we go. Uh, the Rex Xena Biology Lab needs its internal power recharge. Find a working cable port on its structure. All right. Well, we've already got something here. Oh, hello. Yep, here we go. So we have... Ooh! Okay. We've also got the uh, the cable plug there, so we need to power this up, presumably. Um, let's see what we've got. Okay. Completed jumper cables. Now can I... Oh, a screen! 
New mission, now thy gas galastropod. It was making all sorts of weird noises. Um, oh, that's no longer saying what it said before. It's also making very strange music. Oh, okay. Um, now we've actually got back to this. My research continues en route to Lubos Prime. This is my first time working with the natal specimens before they've undergone environmental adaptation. All seven galastropods remain in good health, nothing substantial to report. On a personal note, I question the value of our current mission. <laughs> uh, turning a species with such invasive qualities into house pets. Okay, there's all sorts of um, stuff here. We have, we've un that's apparently all corrupted and unlocked. Um... Okay, let's go. Let's go to entry number two. Despite my best efforts, Ro Rogel continues to escape from his terrarium in favour of taking up space in my coat pocket. Uh, I fear I've spoiled him one too many times with our walks around the ship. The little ones have taken over my lab. Increasing personal interaction has resulted in extremely positive results. Much as I hate to admit it, the snails do seem happier, and I find myself strangely energised once they've all been fed and sorted. I even caught Usagi singing this morning. No, we'll never let me dip this down. Stuff. All right. And then we've got SOS. I'm the only one left. I've still the nursery, but it won't be long before they find me. No call to me earlier, or whatever that thing is pretending to be, to be now did. There's no way off the ship for me, but I've set the command to jettison the nursery. All that's left is to push the button, Frank. All right. Ah. Also, oh, holy shit, there's actually <laughs> quite a lot of stuff. Now, we've actually, um, specimens. We've actually found this by researching it, I think. Oh, We've well, found um, old shells, anyway. Um, Sylvie illuminates the darkest of places no matter where they reside. Okay, so if we get this as a pet, it'll provide light for, to us, presumably. Snail data. Uh, just all oh, lots of information there. Befriending. Actually, let's look at the effects. Um, in response to the interaction and food given to them, gastropods provide their protectors with temporary positive e um, effects and influences. Buffs, some mad there. And befriending, they enjoy music, dancing, and interaction. Oh, we may save all tries at playing with a gastropod before it will allow itself to be played in a terrarium. Oh, God. So we need terrariums, eh? So that's uh, a lot of information, uh, which I've just had to absorb here on camera, which is um, always difficult. Now, how do we actually get into there? If at all. We may not need to. I don't know. Uh, it is. We have now powered... Uh, by the looks of it, it is now permanently powered on, so I don't think we necessarily need that anymore. Don't think there's anything else we can do here. Let's have a look at our quest area. Um, we've done that, we get the reward. And we need to go and get uh, other rewards as well. But here's, here we go, here's um, Retrieval of local galastropod requires data. Find and scan its discarded shells in the forests of silver. Okay. Let's track that. We need to sh scan five. I've been scanning shitloads of these, because they also count towards the missions or whatever. Uh, the, uh, one of the early missions, anyway. So, yeah, we just need to scan five things, which almost certainly will be in here. I saw one down in the... Oh, here we go. There's one. There's loads of here in this fight. Oh, no! Oh, ammonium. I should have remember this place. <laughs> I struggled to find some earlier, but I did find some. There we go. Right, uh, where's oxygen gone? Where's oxygen gone? There it is. Right. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> Don't suffocate. Oh, still We're going to do this, that's fine. So I think it does provide oxygen. Yeah, the actual stru the new structure does provide oxygen, which is handy. There we go. Right, let's have a look. Uh, so, we have ourselves a terrarium, so presumably we, ne we now need... Yes, that's it. We do need now to go back home. May as well grab that. No longer need that. That is not very far back to base. That's very good. Okay. So we just need to get our rewards and we'll have a terrarium. Oh. Right. Strange object power cells. Fine. Don't really care. Oxygen filters. Fine. Now here's the important bit. Oh my god. There it goes. Ooh. Giving me, giving me Tom Servo vibes here. So, what do we even do with this? Needs to be filled with specific items before it is ready. So we need to bung in a shell. Or, well, probably a live animal might be better than a dead one. And, <laughs> frankly. Right. So what are we doing now? And provide terrarium with soil. Provide it with zinc. 
and provide it with bounce vine seed. Okay, well, I think all this is going to be silver stuff, isn't it? Zinc. Uh, well. Zinc. <laughs> Zinc. Right, hang on. Sphalerite. Bang in here. I haven't really got this all set up very well at the moment. I could do with some more medium storages or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's all a bit random at the moment. I haven't even bothered building a ship pit to store excess stuff. As per very old videos. Right, so we'll need one of these. And hopefully... Let's see, how does this actually interact? Um, aha! Right, we've got soil. And that should be most of it. Now we need the bounce vine. Now that surely should be right close by. I've already seen some in the game very close by, so hopefully right up here. Uh. <laughs> ah, here we go. They're about. I think they're bounce vines. Well, I haven't actually checked down there for whatever the hell that is down there. Oh, hang on. Bounce vine seeds. There we go. Just the one. I get two, actually. I'm just going to check down here. Debris! It really is just crap, isn't it? Yeah. Crap. crap a doodle do Stay there. We don't need you. Right. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. I miss my portable oxygenator. <laughs> right. Where is my terrarium? Oh, where have I put it? I bunged it down in the middle. Oh, there it is. There it is. Here we go. Oh, look! Isn't that lovely? Right, let's see what we, what do we need to do now, then. We need to collect that reward at some point. So, attach small horn to completed terrarium. Perform per Oh my god, okay, hang on. Let's get these rewards before we do anything else, then. <laughs> let's get rid of these bloody things. <laughs> So finally, an actual use for horns. Right. Oh! Very jolly music. This is so weird, I wasn't expecting you to do this sort of stuff at all. Also, get away from my oxygen filter. Something like that. <laughs> right, you, Beckon. Really doesn't like me, does it? Oh, hello! He likes. Oh, he likes the chicken dance. Don't we all? <laughs> Frankly, oh, it's gone. Yeah. I think the chicken dance killed it. No, oh, it's, it's over there. It's. Got, it's. it's oh, okay. 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 It's starting to like me, apparently. I think that might be it. I think it's not doing anything anymore. So, I think now I need to actually collect it in the terrarium. And also not suffocate in the meantime. Right, now what do we do? Galastropod not in range. Galastropod ready for collection. F. Aha! And the music is over. Oh, look at you! Are you, my little lad? Oh, isn't it cute? Hang on, let's gaze. Hello! Hello, you green prick! Oh, and it's... Oh, I'm, suff I'm suffocating. Hang on. Come with me. <laughs> Back to base. So we don't die. Ooh, there we go. So our collection has begun. I wonder if you can do this in your main save. It'd be nice to actually have a um, a snail district <laughs> or something. I don't know. We'll put we'll put you there so you can be slightly out of harm's way. You can probably let's see if I, I'm just going to check to see if we can actually put it onto a a platform just to see if that's possible. Yeah, you can. Just requires one one little slot. I can put maybe I can make it a, a portable snail. There we go, <laughs> portable snail. 
Okay, there seems to be more, which is um, more missions on the back of that. The, the, the biology lab requires a scan. Place gastropod on input slot for analysis. Track it. Track it! Uh, which means we do actually have to go and get our snail back. Um, can I, put, I can put it in my backpack. Ooh, a little snaily backpack. I do have some dynamite back at base. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm perpetually worried I'm going to blow everything up, but I'm sure we're fine. Right, here we go. Um, that's a bounce vine tea, we don't need that. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> we've oh, we've opened the door to Snail World. Hello, lad. Uh, is it dead now? Or did it just live in there now? Ooh. It may contain useful information, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we've got new stuff. And we can collect our reward immediately. And what have we got? Provide more power to the Xenobiology Lab on Silver. Use data log to activate Xenobiology's lab tracker. Provide more power to activate the tracking capability. So presumably, there'll be um, all the ones on other planets. Elsewhere, uh, we can feed it. Um, it can eat any seed. Favourite foods increase benefits received. And you get an RTG. Holy shit. Um, well... I actually don't know how... Oh, look, we've actually... Yeah, we're getting low on power now, so we do actually need to bump that up somewhat. I think it may use power on a, like, a discrete basis, like it just uses some up, rather than you draw, draws it continuously. So let's try... See what we can do. I think this merits further videos, so we'll continue this, because uh, I think we're coming to a good spot to stop and then continue on another vi video where we're going to go to other planets. So in the meantime, let's just finish things off by... Give it a bit more power. Maybe we'll probably need more. Oh, hello. That RTG was probably going to be useful. Oh, okay. So we have done that. Apparently. And the tracking power. Now we need to use the data log to activate the lab tracker. Okay. Ah. Right. New mission, Desilo. Shells. Also, the music's gone all weird again. Ah, new mission, Kalidar shells. Actually, how many how many missions are we getting out of this? So, so Kalidar and um, Desilo. Okay, here we go. Uh, and finally, let's just try to see if I can actually um, put, give give that glastropod a seed. I think we may have actually lost it now. I think it may be... Um, in here for good, so we'd actually need to go and get another one. I think that might be a, like a, a branching mission thing we can do elsewhere. What's up here, anyway? Oh, look! Ow! <laughs> There's stuff on this side and all, but it doesn't do now, so it's a bit pointless. Huh! Our first um, snail encounter. All very cool indeed. I like this Xeno Biology Lab. All very decrepit and very intriguing indeed. Right, so hopefully, yeah, we'll um, continue um, with more um, snail, act hot snail action in future videos.